Hey, this is Jay Lee. Hope all is well. I just wanted to show some footage that was taken from my friend John Graff with his P-1000. The footage was taken on November 24th, 2019 over at Hollydale Park. What's cool about getting together to watch UFOs is that when we actually see one, we have multiple eyewitnesses. Here's one that we really had to scrutinize. Please keep in mind that we set the date, time, and place for these things to happen. Also, we call for them, and they come to our location. And this is what shows up. We're always looking for something out of the ordinary. Other than planes and birds, I think it's unusual to even see something ordinary, much less something unusual. So this one comes out of nowhere. I would say it was about a mile away. It didn't go completely against the wind, but I would say it ran perpendicular to it. I call this one a paradisus. This is some sort of combined summation arrangement, some sort of uh, accumulate merger of different things. Now, although this is a clump, it is heterogeneous, meaning it has a whole bunch of things that are similar, but the heterogeneous means that there's things that are looking very different. Now, although some things may look recognizable, other things are completely unrecognizable and don't make sense. Now, I believe that some of these clusters that are released are very obvious. You could see that they're just regular clusters. And then there's things like this that show up. It's very easy to blow off something like this. To me, this almost looks like something is holding it together. Some sort of cover. I suspect that there might be some sort of hitchhiker. Like all these objects are kind of wrapped around this thing. Why would something do this? Maybe as an act of camouflage. This makes a good cover. I agree that this might be overkill for a camouflage type situation, but maybe it's trying to teach us something. It didn't have to show up when we're here, but here it is. So let's take a look at some of the indications of imitation that it's trying to tell us. Number one, the kinesiology. This one wasn't moving with the wind. This one appeared out of nowhere and moved perpendicular to the wind pattern. Now that should tell you right off the bat, something's wrong here. Balloons are subject to physics. They follow the wind patterns. When these supposed balloons end up breaking the laws of physics, you know something's going on. It's just an indication for you to look at it a little closer. And typically, if it breaks the laws of physics, you'll find other things that are strange as well. This is kind of a social event, so we're not looking up at the sky all the entire time. But as usual, someone was signaled to look up in the sky, and this thing showed up. And then the next order of business is trying to locate it somewhere in the sky. Now you would think that anybody kind of pointing in that direction, you'd be able to pick up on it immediately. That's not the case with these things because they're as big as a small star in the sky during the daylight. And this is one of the reasons why there's people like John Graff that have the equipment to be able to see these things up close because you really can't tell unless you see these things up close. We're not really supposed to be seeing stuff like this. I think the only reason why we're able to see these things is because we're actually searching. Maybe their attitude is search and you will find. I think they'll only reveal themselves to the people who are paying attention and for those who are really looking for the answers. Okay, so the first thing is kinesiology, but I put in a uh, trajectory as part of the movement because this goes into propulsion. Wind counters propulsion. It takes a lot more propulsion to counter the wind. This is just another indication of imitation, another hint it'll give us. How do we know which way the wind is blowing? We follow the clouds. There was a lot of cumulus clouds this day. The cumulus clouds usually hang around 2,000 to 7,000 feet. It's about a mile, mile and a half up in the sky. We also have to keep an eye on some of the higher clouds because they may be moving in a different direction. Okay, so the next ones are the morphology, color, texture, theme, and time. Let's just examine this picture. This picture is probably the clearest picture of this object uh, that I have. So the morphology is the actual structure. Keep in mind that if you can recognize one object, it doesn't mean that all of the objects are recognizable. For example, this one. Does this look normal to you? Look at it. It looks like it's been burst open. If it's burst open, why is it burst open? And how about this one right next to it? It looks like it's flat. Now this may end up being an indication on how long it's been out there floating around. It usually takes three to five days for these foil balloons to start going flat. Do you think it could be up there this long? And we just happen to see this thing that's been floating around for the last three to four days? Now take a look at the tether. Does that look like a normal tether to you? It looks to me that like tin foil has been wrapped around the tethers in this structure. Is that normal? Have you ever seen anything like this before? Have you ever wrapped up a tether of a cluster with tin foil? Why would you do that? 
If you were able to go outside right now, look up in the sky, and wait for somebody to do this with a cluster of balloons, how long do you think it would take you to wait for you to be able to see something like this? Probably a very long time, because this is not normal. And I noticed that it crouched over also. It looked like it bent in half. I think that's a little strange. So the color, texture, and theme seem to be okay. It was just that the, the probabilities of everything else that was kind of strange. And like I said, we called for strange things to come to our location and something like this shows up. Is it trying to reveal to us something that uh, lets us know that it's here? So anyway, I um, want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com. I invite you to our next UFO sighting event. The people that come to our events are fantastic and you'll really learn a lot. And you'll end up learning how to do this stuff on your own. So I'll see you guys next time.